Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Elix. All right, guys, so we left off right before we do this boss fight here, or what we expect to be a boss fight. I don't know if we actually will. Um, the deadly slime Drake thingy. I don't know oh, if he'll. Like yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, we're pretty good. There are, I'm guessing. Are, I noticed that dexterity seems to have a play a huge role uh, in increasing your um, your damage for your, your ranged weapons. Done. So nice. That was a lot easier than I was expecting. Ew. He did he's come down the tunnel, of course. That's an abomination. Yeah, he's a. Uh, yeah, he's what are you talking about? He's a pretty looking dude. Look at him. I was looking at him. Look at. I think you just got something against bald people. Do you, Jinx? Uh, Do you have something against bald uh, people, Jinx? Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> There's a squirrel actually. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the squirrel that runs by our window. Yeah, because we have a. It's a big, beautiful, majestic red squirrel. That it's like a phone. What's it like a phone wire or something that goes across? Yeah, Electrical they, wire. They came and put in new wire. Yeah, and so he runs Squirrels across it from one tree to the it. other. Why is this closed? Wait a minute. Oh. Did you push your switch? Shit. What? It's closed. It wasn't closed last time I came through because he went through there. Oh, the alien went through Yeah, there? the alien went through there. I told you he tried going around toward uh, to get so me. So how come he can open the door, but you can't? I don't know. I, I have no idea, Jinx. Well, that but, just ain't right. Yeah, last time I came through here, this door was open, because he had gone through here. Um, and now that it's not open, we I don't know. Yeah, one, we got to go all the way back through, which sucks, because we would have been able to just jump down. And two, I have no idea how we're going to talk to... The guy, because that's where he's at. He's on the roof. You can't fly up there? Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's really high up. I believe in you. I mean, I guess we'll have to find, we'll have to find some way. You took uh, the lighthouse. Is there a button in here? No, I don't think so. There well, there there? is. There's something over here. Um, Maybe this is it. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe he didn't open it. Maybe I opened it for him. <laughs> and maybe I did that before, and that's why he went that way this time. Oh, yep. yep. Looks like it's open. Sunshine. All right, so it wasn't him that opened it. All right, there's just a button I didn't push. All right, excellent. All right, so there he is. All lonely. All lonely and shit. Lonely. I'm just waiting for somebody to come chit-chat with him. Um, and I suppose we'll do that here in a minute. I just want to see if there's <laughs> priorities, guys. Priorities. Um, I believe... Scenic views. I believe there's... Oh, come on. I was using my jetpack. You didn't Fuck have you. gas. I had a little bit. Yeah, I believe there's some shit over here we might want to get, and we gotta kill the clean bot. No clean bot left alive. Yeah, he wasn't doing a shit job anyway. Look I at know, this. like he's just <laughs> tracking the blood all yeah, over. Yeah, he's just dragging I it can't around. Clean it. Oh, we got an elix strength. Nice. That'll give us some experience. Oh, by the way, guys, we actually have a level up uh, as well, so we might want to go ahead and do that. Uh, we probably should do that. Try doing that level up before we were gonna get in that fight with that guy. That probably would have been smart. Yeah, we didn't need. No levels. We didn't need it. All right, let's go ahead and level up dexterity some. I believe that's, we're kind of falling behind a little bit on dexterity. We're also going to go ahead and get some constitution as well, uh, a little bit of strength, and let's do a little bit of intelligence, I think. Uh, one more dexterity. There we go. No amount of intelligent points are going to improve Jax. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's see if we can use any new weapons here. Um, what, are, what are we trying to get at anyway? Uh, so we need to sell that rusty axe that we found. Uh, we still need a lot of strength and constitution to use the serrated axe. Two-handed sword, we have the strength, but we need four more dexterity uh, before we can use it. Um, I believe we can now use the crossbow. However, it does do less damage than the bow, so we'll probably use that uh, until we run out probably of arrows. It takes forever to reload. You can use the cleric weapons that we have for that quest, by the way, Tanks. Uh, there's single shot burst and full auto modes, uh, but it does require 50 dexterity, so we're nowhere near that. Um, how much damage does it do? 40? It doesn't even do as much damage as the stalker anyway, uh, which is just slightly better. Um, or as far as stats, you need a ton of strength. Never mind. Uh, and then we have this one too, which we can't use any of this shit. What about the flamethrower? 31 dexterity, and we could use a flamethrower, Jinx. Oh shit! It's probably not gonna be as fun as we're hoping it will be. Yeah, probably not. I don't know. How could you fuck up a flamethrower, though? I mean, true. It's a flamethrower. As long as it blows out fucking fire. Yeah, I mean, it, it might not damage properly. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Let's, let's not just assume that they fuck it up. Maybe it's uh, maybe they did an excellent job with the flamethrower. 
Yeah, I mean, maybe. Oh, also, right down there, um, there's a robot. Oh, it's actually down there in that crater-looking thing over there. There's one of those big robots that we ran into in the cleric lands. Oh, the unfriendly one. Yeah, and this one's really, really not friendly. And he chased me down for miles. Like, I could not get rid of this guy. Everywhere I went, he followed me. All right, so... Jack stinks. Yeah, uh, so... Wait, can robots sense... Do they have noses? Well, no, but they have, you know... Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> sense trackers or yeah. something like that? This would be an awesome base. We should take over and use it as a base, like, because they got walls and shit all the way around. Well, it didn't keep you out, or the bulbous fella. True, yeah, they, they, they do have a big hole in their defenses right there. Uh, I guess they thought the, <laughs> the their little uh, water stream would stop anything. Like, bad guys can't swim. Even though it's, like, knee, knee high. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to uh, Falk. This is the companion I told you guys about. Good day. Just think, if these mutants keep chasing people up here we'll soon be able to start our own small town. What are you doing up here? Waiting. At some point, those mutants down there will find an easier meal. Then they'll leave, and I can continue my journey. The mutants down there were too much for you? There was a whole horde of them when I arrived. Maybe there aren't as many now, but there are still enough to kill me, so I'll wait a little longer for them to lose interest. The mutants are dead. Ah, good. Thank you. Then I can be on my way. On your way where? To the search for greater knowledge, and a number of technical items that I'm tasked to find by the clerics. All right, you can go. Thank you. By killing those mutants, you've helped me greatly. And yourself to a degree. And I suppose all of Magellan. Except the Alps. Or the mutants. That could prove an interesting statistical comparison to consider while I travel. Well, thank you again. I will continue on with my task. Why did you come here to the converter? Why does anyone come here? I came here for the Alb technology. You're going to stop the Alps? Me? No, I'm not crazy. I hid up here to avoid fighting one group of mutants. I know I can't stop the Alps alone. My observations, and those of others, show that the Alves' power comes from their technology. That, and an ability to increase their stamina, pain resistance, strength, emotional resistance, etc., that comes from abusing their bodies with vast amounts of elix. It is obvious I cannot defeat them. But, you obviously have the skills I am lacking. So, why don't we work together? We could both benefit from our different skill sets. I could be useful to you when it comes to technical questions. In return, you can help me avoid situations like this in the future. What do you think? Can we team up? Yes, you can come with me, if you think you can follow my orders. Yes, I can do that. You will not regret this decision. Together we fight, together we fall. I'm not planning on falling, and I can't see you doing much fighting. Where should we meet if we become separated? There's an abandoned camp in the ruins to the west of Goliath. We can meet there. Understood. Meet at the abandoned camp. What components are you looking for? Yes, I should tell you the full list. I need, we need, a sensor module from the converter. A high-performance CPU of the type the Alps use. My research suggests the best place to locate that would be out in the war zone in Abessa. It sounds like you're collecting the pieces for a drone. Maybe. I had thought of that. But we also need garudium. That's a metal found in the comet crater in Ignodon. A hydraulic joint, the sort found in pre-war machines. I should be able to locate that in the scrap piles near the outlaw forts. A hydraulic joint? Yes. A Type 702, if we can get one. But anything of that sort will be adequate. And I'll also need a miniature Elex battery, the sort the Alps use in their Raiders. And that's the full list? Yes, you'd better save it to your Ajutor. Tell me more about the materials you need. Certainly. Every component found is another step towards the liberation of Magellan. At least so I've been told. I don't actually know what these components are supposed to do. But the cleric who told me to come here insists it will change the world. Do you want to start by telling me what you're doing? 
About these components you need. Yes. I found this hydraulic joint. Is this the type you need? Yes, thank you. An incredible piece of engineering, isn't it? It's stronger and more durable than its organic cousin, but capable of replicating it. To think what Magalang would have become if the comet hadn't hit. You think things would be different? You mean would Magalang have destroyed itself if the comet hadn't struck? The berserkers say so. I disagree. But the comet didn't just bring destruction. It also brought Elix. And it is Elix that gave those who survived the leap forward in technology that the clerics have driven. Mutants adapted to the new environment through Elix. We have done the same through technology. We adapt. We survive. We move forward. If you say so. Come with me. You already have enough company. I would only get in the way. We're doing great. All right. <laughs> Ray's like, don't abandon me. All right, so we're gonna tell we're gonna tell him to. We could also do the okay. Let's find Leo thing as well. I think we could probably take those guys out. Um, right about now. You know what? I think that's what we're gonna do. Let me just um, tell Falk to go to the camp, or he should go on his own. I believe he <laughs> should. Um, hmm. I don't know. All right. To make sure that he does, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say. Um, you should go to the camp. Go to the camp. Okay. Of course. All right. So he's gonna go to the camp, and then we're gonna tell this guy to follow us. Follow me. Yes. All right, and then tell him to go to the camp. <laughs> go to the camp. Okay. There we go. So Falk should go to the camp now, and Ray will follow <laughs> us. There we go. So we're gonna do we're gonna do Ray's mission next, uh, and then we'll come back to the um, small camp and get Falk, uh, so that we can go back to the cleric land and start doing some cleric missions. Though I don't know, I kind of think we should do those berserker missions. What do you think? Okay. Um, I we think have. If you're wanting to join the clerics. He's staying on the. I would go there. Well, I'm just talking about for the experience, uh, because we've already done them. We have like a lot of missions we've already done for the Berserkers. Oh, okay. And we could just go back home and like collect the experience, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean I guess yeah, that'd be a good Plus, idea. Plus I know where the crafting guy is in the Berserker lands. Uh and we really need to learn that. Uh that'll allow us to like craft potions. Uh we can start uh modifying our weapons. These are all things that we I believe we have the abilities to do now. We just need to get by the skill points. Alright, so we already tried to do this before yeah, guys. We don't need to listen to this again. Um, and we died. I, I feel like we can take him now. I think so, too. Yeah, I think we can get him. A whole base of people. Yeah, we can do this. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to chuck grenades over there the way we did before. And you know what? We should probably save this, too. I think that would probably be wise. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. Let's go ahead and save the game. Um, right here. I don't know when the last auto save was, but if we do die, I'd prefer to just do it from here. All right, so let's just chuck grenades over Bombs there. Away. Oh, they're challenging reavers. We don't tolerate. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like that. You don't tolerate what? What was that? Oh, oh. he's got oh. grenade launcher too. Uh oh. Be talking shit. All right. Yeah, he's yeah he's got a grenade launcher too. Let's get out of here. Oh jeez. All right, let's. Uh. Um, hey, are you carrying a spray paint can around? Yeah. You spray tag paint. Him? A can of spray paint. Yep. Oh fuck. Oh damn it. The way I did this before is I used the raptor looking thing that was here, mm -hmm. um, to fight them. But I don't have Get a raptor looking thing. Here. We just have this rock board looking guy. He All right, I can't. Raining grenades. I can't even use a potion because he keeps shooting grenades at us. Ah, oh, come on. All right, we're gonna attempt oh, to fight geez. these guys. I don't know how well this is gonna go. Not well. Not at well. All. Clearly. God damn. God damn it! I can't even get out of here. Ah. <laughs> it won't even let me uh, roll with their grenade out or anything. No, because you got like this giant fucking can in your hand. <sighs> we're gonna die. Yeah, we are. Yep, we died. Well done. That did not go as planned. It didn't. Um, you know what, though, guys? I think if we do this again, he might not have the grenade launcher. Um, because if I'm being honest, I had to do this a couple times when I did this on my playthrough, this mm -hmm. mission. And um, out of the three times I did it, he only had a grenade launcher once. So I'm pretty sure that the weapon they get is spawned when you get in a fight with them. As stupid as that sounds. Okay. Um, keep it random or something? I don't know, but that's the way it seems. Because, like I said, I've seen it where... Seems like he's got a grenade launcher. He might have a grenade launcher this time again. I'm just telling you that out of the three times I fought yeah. him, he didn't have a grenade launcher, all of them. May Why does he have such ridiculous accuracy? They do. It's ridiculous. All right, let's get out of here. Come on, come on. Put the damn can away. <laughs> 
All right. You um, probably gotta engage him in mid lane. Yeah, that's exactly what we need to do. Where's he at? Is it that fella? I don't know. No, he's got. A no, crossbow he's got a crossbow of some sort. All right. Oh, that's Leo. That's the only person we actually yeah, need to kill. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's him right there. Uh, we need to get him in melee. He's oh, almost shit. dead. Kill him. All right. We got the grenade launcher guy. We're All good right. to go. Now we can just run around. All right. Come on. Watch out, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my taste for blood in my mouth, <laughs> and Ray's going to get it. All right. Oh, I should probably shouldn't have jumped up here. They got ranged weapons. Know, ah, damn. All right. We need to drink a potion. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make it through this, Jinx. I believe in you. Ah, come on, sniper? come on! Ah! Damn, they got me with that fucking grinding thing they got there. All right, we need to. We need one of those. Le loot the reaver. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's first, let's bring them over here. And did they kill the rot boar thing did. already? They did. Somebody did. Damn. Poor little feller. All right, let's. Ooh, my, oh, it was just a young jackal. Aww. Damn it. He was just a pup. All right, why is this such low-level shit over here? You know, like when I said, when I came over here, they were a much higher Die, level. Die, Leo. Hold up. We only got one reaver left. It's been so long, I can't even remember why we're killing Leo. Remember, um... Oh, we're in trouble. Is he the one who had our shit? No, no, no. No. Um... There's like a uh, the one who wants Ray a, dead. yeah. There's a bounty out for him, and he's one of the several people who has a bounty uh, paper on him. We have to get every single person who has a bounty on him. We've got to kill them and take it off of him. Okay. Uh, I think there's like ten or something like that. Because Ray's proven himself so useful. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, I mean he does. He helps. I mean, yeah. comedic relief. You need. Ah, damn it. One more hit, and I think he'll get us. I think so too. Get out of there. Get him. This has been a rather challenging mission. Yeah, it has. I mean, this is the last guy here, but. Come on, get him. He's spry. Yeah, he is. All right, awesome. We have one. Hooray! All right, let's go ahead and loot these guys. Um, loot Leo and get the uh, bounty off of him. And there we go. Yeah, there's ten contracts for Ray. We've killed two. We've got two of the contracts. Are all of them like little missions like this? I think so. Oh. I don't know though. Jeez. I think they're just all not really necessarily missions. They're just all people, and not all of them will have like crews like this. This guy does. Some of them will be by themselves. So they're not all going to be this, about, right? this challenging. Right? doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about when it comes to loot in places. Yeah, he's always saying that shit's empty. It's already been picked clean. Dude, there's a fucking hammer right there, man. Yeah. You know what you can do with a hammer? It's worth like Things. one elixir. And fine dining forks? Yeah. It's we wouldn't have apparatuses. What? <laughs> That's what Jinx would use the fork for. And stab people the in their eyeball. And the hammer. Yeah, I mean I guess Jeez. Yeah, it's I guess it's a good assortment of weapons. Um, for torturing Jinx. I think uh, that thing, that tower, I came here once before that time when I was running through the desert, you know? Mm -hmm. Leveling up a while back. Um, and I believe another hammer. Yeah, I believe there's some good items in, in that. So if you guys want some, find some good shit here. I believe there was some in these towers here. I might have checked this one as well. Yeah, it looks like I did. All right. But yeah, I think there was some good loot in those. So if you're running by here, you might want to stop by and uh, pick it up. If you got time for that shit. If you got time for that shit, yep. All right. So let's uh, go to their little base here where they were all chilling out, doing a circle jerk or whatever it was they were doing. Are they candy bows? I don't think so. All right. Let's just steal all their shit. <laughs> Let's get you all their goodies steal here. From dead men. Exactly, it's all ours. So we saw a small green gemstone. Oh, I love the sound that it makes. Ching. <laughs> <laughs> can we open this? I don't think we no, can. I'm not. No, I'm not good enough for that. He's not good enough for it, Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's always putting like, himself down. I don't down. like Jax, but man, I don't like when people just aren't confident in themselves. Like, come on, Jax, you can do it. I was like, you can at least try. It's like I want to tell my son, like he's always trying to give up on shit. Like you gotta try. Yeah, you can't give up for you. Sure, try. you might suck at it, but you gotta try anyway. Mm-hmm. That's the only way to get better. All right, is there anything else in here? No, but there's rats to kill. <laughs> Look at him run. He knew oh, what was man. up. And we got a ballsy fucking mouse living in our house, acting like he owns some shit. Yeah, like he's paying rent or some shit. 
Yeah, he's just and he's getting bolder. I don't know if it's because we've been doing a better job making sure that there's no like food around for him to eat. Uh, when you got kids, sometimes they They're walking little crumb bags. Yeah, little just like, like crumbs and Gretel. fall off of them <laughs> as they walk. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, when they eat, they, they sometimes make a mess. We have to have them like clean up the floor after every meal cause they'll drop food and stuff. Uh, so we've been much better at making sure that they always get, you know, all the food cleaned up. So the mouse doesn't have anything to eat. Uh, and I think that might be what's making him bolder or it could just be cause we've yet to kill him yet. So he's just like, you know, it probably doesn't help that I screech every time I see him. <laughs> I'm like, eat. <laughs> <laughs> And then he's like, Eep, and he's like, oh, well, they're just as scared of me as I am of them. Uh -huh. So, yeah, he's not even scared because Jinx is, is a coward. I can't fucking help it, though. <laughs> Every time she sees the I mouse. I want to kill it. I just want to stomp him. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, he was so close. He's just so bold. And, yeah, I could have stomped him, but I, I didn't have any shoes on or anything. So <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to stomp him with my bare feet. No, and... that would be. Yeah. An odd experience. Uh huh. So yeah, we've got a mouse, guys. I hope there's something up here. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's like explosives or something like that. Something we can't At use. At least probably. Ray seems smart enough to not follow. No, he's doing that where he's like licking the. Oh, licking the ladder. Ladder again. <laughs> yep, he's a ladder licker. God damn it! I was like, what did I tell you about that ladder licking? Sick of Ray. Oh, Look at him. Oh, okay. He shit, just. Man. Why can't we do that? Know, magically right? poof on up here. All right, um, how am I supposed to get to the top there? Very uh, carefully. We're just gonna like, we'll just sit on this here. Here we go. All right, cause yeah, I really wanna Ray's see what's up there. <laughs> well, he gets to use magic, so it's not really fucking fair. Maybe that's what those chems do for you. I think so, cause he's always fucking twitching in chat. Like Fragmentation just, rockets. Just see, Jinx? Just gotta hump something. We can't use them, what? <laughs> He's just got to hum something. He rubs his crotch on the ladder. He does, or you, or whoever's closest. All right, well, I mean. Hey, Ray, you got to cut that shit out. Yeah, it's not socially acceptable, no. but it reminds me of in Sons of Manarchy, that guy couldn't stop jerking off. No. <laughs> <laughs> who would have thought that he would end up a likable character? Yeah, who would have thought? I didn't think he was going to be like a main character like that. I thought his time was over. Uh, spoilers. I <laughs> thought they were going to kill him off. Um, but yeah, he ended up, he ends up being a main character, and, and he's kind of a likable, likable character. Once he loses his hands, and he can't touch his penis no more. <laughs> I mean, he's got like one finger in each hand, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess there's not much you can do with that. Not really. Yeah, there's really not much you can do. I mean, I mean, I could figure out how to make it work, but... <laughs> it'd be something. You could do something. You have to, right? I mean, I guess. <laughs> you if, can't just give up... Just... Got Masturbation. <laughs> Alright, okay. let's see here. Um, <laughs> we got small mental... Okay, and we got some more good stuff over here. Alright, so uh, we finished this quest. This is the first quest for Ray uh, out of, what, yeah, eight more, eight more dudes here. Shadowy land? Is that a portal over there? I don't even know there's a Here's portal that. right over here. Alright, well, we'll probably want to go ahead and lock that. I try and get every single portal I can get because, you know, it's you know, less less travel that we gotta make. Um, so let's go ahead and unlock it. Probably an enemy or something over here is gonna try and stop us. Roll! <laughs> did you oh, get it? Did, we already unlocked it. Oh, well shit. Oh, okay, I didn't know we had it unlocked already. It didn't look like it was on the map. All right, so what we wanna go ahead and do next is go back to that small camp and get our guy, um, whatever his name the is. Clarity Falk. Guy. Yeah, we're gonna get ourselves Falk. I don't know. I don't know I don't where Duras went. No, folks. Yeah, folks, right there. Hmm. Well, why is Duras not on went the map? Home. He's like, fuck this shit. He's never coming back. Oh, is that him right there? I think. Okay, I don't think we told Duras to go to the small camp. Oh, he's just wandering. No, he's just sitting at the city in that oh. post that he goes to. All right. Well, let's go to the small camp, um, and hopefully, Falk will be there. Maybe it just took him some time because we didn't actually do a normal fast travel. Remember, we had Ray take oh, us. Oh, true. So maybe he didn't have any time to to walk over there just yet. I don't know. I think he'll be here, Jinx. He'll be there. He'll be here. He'll be there waiting for us. He'll wait for us. He's been cooking us dinner and shit. Uh, he's a pretty annoying dude. He he talks like a robot. Like right? Doesn't he sound like he's kind of robotic? Like an owl should sound. Yeah, kind of like an owl. I mean, I guess you know. Those religious folk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Durst is here. Okay. Huh. How weird. Okay, I think... Okay, I know what the issue was. Um, we hadn't cleared the small camp yet, so they couldn't come here. 
Uh, oh, and it wasn't until we had come here, uh, once it had been cleared, that they could now travel here. So Durfus is now here as well. Let's go ahead and tell Ray to chill out. Come to the small camp. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get uh, our friend Falk. Mm -hmm. uh, we want you to follow me. Also, while we're in the Berserker land, we can get our other companion. There's another companion, Jinx. Another one? Another one, yep. I'll leave it a secret so until we get there. So many friends. Yep. All right, so let's, um, and this is an old friend, too. Uh, let's go ahead and travel there. I don't want to walk. I'm lazy. Uh, travel to uh, Goli. <laughs> it's not even that far away. <laughs> I could probably oh see gosh, it from here. It's too far. Uh, I'm not doing it. I'd rather sit through this loading screen. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, we have a bunch of quests that we can kind of finish up here, get ourselves a little bit of experience. Also, uh, we need money. to yeah, and some money. Yep, I love money. Uh, maybe also buy some items. And then on top of that, I believe we have some of those elixir potions that give us a uh, give us some experience, 100 experience. Awesome. I'm gonna use those up. Uh, we are almost to level 11. Almost there, guys. Uh, and hold up, cultivator's loaf. Is there a level cap? I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think there is. You just keep on going. Yeah, I, I believe that there's there's no no oh, level yeah. cap, the but it gets so difficult cap. to. Um, to level up. How are they going to feel about a cleric wandering up in here? Probably, yeah, probably not too pleasant about it. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about it. They're going to be trying to take his clothes off. They, but you know what? They like the clerics more than they like the outlaws, so. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they'd be fine with, they'd be better off having the cleric in here than the outlaws. Seems nobody really likes the outlaws. All right, so what we're going to do here is, first we should sell all of our shit. Uh, I think there's a store in here. Uh, we've got a ton of stuff to sell. Um, they really do just have one female character. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, I think the males, now that I'm thinking about, they have that one model as well with, with the arms. Yeah. You know, has, the arm has the same, like, the dirt on it or whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, she's a personality trainer. We don't, we don't have any personality, so. Uh, but we can trade with her. And sell all our goodies. Uh, let's first see if she has Maybe anything we might want to get. Huh? And none of this shit that they're fighting over really matters. Because they're all clones? Because they're all fucking clones. I can see that. Let's buy a ton of potions. Alright. Um, what else do we want to get here? Yeah, it's an interesting uh, ideal there, Jinx. It could possibly be correct. How many arrows do we have? Do you know? We have three. Three arrows? Three. Hold on, let me take a look. We have... 84 arrows, Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> let's buy a few more. Let's buy... I hate how there's no way to, like, uh, adjust how many you got besides just going one at a time. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, is that the they ring of... Sell them the instructions the to make the ring of power. <laughs> what? Precious. We need a Cyclops eye. Oh, where the fuck do you get a Cyclops eye? You pry it from a Cyclops's face, obviously. Oh. Well, where do you find one of them fellers? <laughs> Jinx said one of them fellers. <laughs> right, let's sell that. Uh, what else do we want to sell here? Do we have any other good shit here? Mostly just food. We got canned food. I know that we have a ton of uh, junk. We've been collecting junk for a while here. I don't think we've been to the store recently. Or maybe we went to one in the outlaw town. I just forgot. You just can't part with any of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can go ahead and sell these claws. We got 16 claws. That'll make about? us a pretty you can penny. Make some shit with that. Sell them teeth and you bones. Make you the scariest looking motherfucker in this land. Yeah, true. I don't know why yeah, you can't make something kind of cool with it. Uh, we don't need the cleric prayer book. Actually, we probably should have kept that. We're trying to join the clerics. We might need that. Uh, anything else we might need? We don't need the ominous note. Um, propaganda. Oh, we need that. Yeah, we need to hand those out. I'm going to sell them, though. <laughs> it's a good, because she'll buy them, and then she'll sell them, right? How are you going to be a cleric? If I don't have propaganda on if me? If you don't have propaganda, yeah. Uh, keep the old coins. You need a pamphlet to hand people. Again, yeah, yeah, I, I agree. You're right, Jinx. I probably should have kept it. But the way I'm looking at it is I'm going to sell it to her, and then she's going to sell it to somebody. No, you're going to sell it to her, and then she's going to throw it in the trash. <laughs> when you she turn wouldn't around have, to leave. She wouldn't have bought it from me if she was just going to put it in the trash. Maybe she hangs it up on her wall and think about how many people see it, how many people we convince of our uh, cleric ways. I'm you know, sure that's how our cool Christians picture. feel whenever they hand out pam pamphlets Talk. or Mormons. Or... Well, because they look at it like, okay, even if this person throws it away, then it will go to the junkyard, and somebody <laughs> at the junkyard that's digging in the trash will find it, and it will change their lives. Because oh. that's God's well, will, I mean, Jinx. I guess if you put it that way, it's that God's makes will. Sense. It does. Because that pamphlet will find its way to a person who needs it. These seedlings okay. are fascinating. 
And he is, he's a talker. Um, <laughs> yeah. He tells you about everything. Everything. Let's go ahead and cook this meat here. I think we have a little bit on us. Fry that up. Some good ass fried meat. Jinx is showing me that we're 31 minutes in, or about 31 minutes in, but we are doing a 45 minute episode, guys. This is our uh, weekend special. <laughs> uh, just trying to make some, some progress here. Oh, <laughs> if we run over here, some mutants will attack. Is there a trophy for, um, for balls? bouncing across the water? Oh, shit. Oh, I was like, who the uh, fuck is it? Ah, damn it. Like, I'm sorry. <sighs> I accept my fate. Damn it. Damn it, indeed. I hate how easy it is to change characters, especially you when you kill somebody. Help anyone. Damn it, man. And does that mean I'm gonna have to sell all my shit again? Nope, That's fucking frustrating. <laughs> all right, yeah, I hope not either, because yeah, that kind of took a while. I think it probably is gonna be the case that, I don't know, sometimes it saves right when you're done, you know, in a store and stuff. It's felt and like- sometimes it don't. It felt like we spent <laughs> some time in here. I guess, let's take a look. Let's see if we, we look sold around. our stuff. Uh, if hopefully we did. If you then you didn't do it. I think, I think we sold it, James. Okay. I think we're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, the money's right as well. All right, so it saved right after we stopped talking here. So. Good show. Awesome. All right, let's 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 continue on. Um, we wanted to go this way. Uh, and we'll fight those guys again. Like I said, it's a real easy quest. Uh, you can see that they're really weak rot boars. So Unless there's really... you attack the berserker. Then yeah, let's, unfortunate. let's not do that again. It's just so easy. What happens, guys, is when you're, you're fighting, once you kill something, then it just locks onto somebody else. Now, for whatever reason, the game doesn't prioritize enemies. Instead, it just locks onto the closest fucking thing, whether it's a, you know, a uh, friend or a neutral character. It doesn't matter. Um, Jax gets into a blood blast. Yep. He don't give a fuck. Yeah, well, it's fucking frustrating. I will make some applejack jeans. I will apple kill jack, everyone. Jinx. I want some applejack too. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, we need to make some. And we'll make some wood lice meat as well. Some bug meat. Uh, wait, what is this? Can we pick this up? Oh, apples. All right, well, there we go. Yeah, now we can make applejack. I think we're short the liquor, though, Jinx. Uh -huh. And I think we need one more apple as well. We can make a virgin applejack. <laughs> then it's not an applejack. It's just <laughs> apple juice. All right. With spies. Let's um, let's fight these guys again, and just be really careful. Well, just be. I, you kill him in one hit. See, he's not even the closest one, and he's, they're still locking onto him. Initiating combat. Oh. Is he knocked out? This guy's gonna get on. Yeah, he's already getting on mine. All right, let's just be really careful. All right, we did it. We did it, and we got a level. Nice. He don't need no man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is there anything else over here? We got a, another cultivator's loaf. Who are we collecting those for again? I don't know, some woman. No, actually, it's, it's that guy. It's that guy that we when we first saw the the ball sack. Oh. The guy who managed the ball sack manager. He's dead by now, totally. Yeah, he's been waiting for those cultivator loaves for well, quite a while like now. Well, he like 80 or some shit. 50, I think. He wants like 50. A ridiculous amount. Yeah, it's of a lot. Ball sack loaves. Uh, what? No, it's cultivated loaves. Yeah, Since... that come. They make them out of the ball sacks. Do they? Yeah, it's ball sack bread. These are the th these are the ball sacks, aren't they? The baby yeah. ones or something like that. So yeah, the uh, basically what goes on with these berserkers is that you see all the green. They're the ones that made it like this. I guess it all used to look like the oh, deserts of Tavar. With their magic. No, with the ball sacks. And their love. No, the, the ball sacks. No, what they do is the 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 ball sacks create. Uh, a forest. That's that's how how it works. I don't I don't know how, um, but you, you gotta cup them gently. What are you doing? <laughs> and life will bore from you. What happened there? The fucking game all messed up. All right, but yeah, that, that's that's what those do. That's why they're planting them everywhere. Uh, when they plant them there, then that leads to uh, the green growth, and there that's their goal is to turn the whole world uh, into a forest again. Nice. Um, so yeah, they're kind I can of a, get behind that. Yeah, they're the nature lovers. Um, so they're they're an interesting faction, um, and I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think where I think he's up there. All right, there's a, there's a couple more trainers here we need to talk to. I'm trying to find the uh, the crafting trainer. We need to talk to a fucking crafting trainer. 
So we can make some shit. Yeah, so we can make ourselves some potions and, and, and uh, modify our weapons. Technology must be consigned to the oh my god. about that shouting? Yep, is there, that's what it reminds me of, right? <laughs> uh, it's not like somebody yelling at us about the fucking shouting and shit. Lollygagging. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like when you use your jetpack, they don't like it when you open up your menu. Uh, and that's one of the most frustrating parts of, of being here. Like, I can understand, like, if I was doing something else, but I think the developers thought that it'd be, like, clever, you know? They're like, you know, they don't like technology, so if you use any, then they say something to you. But man, does it get fucking annoying and frustrating. Because <laughs> they just repeat it over and over again. Oh, wait a minute. Did you know there were some weapons brought back here to Goliath? Energy weapons taken from the clerics? I'd be interested in getting a look at them, if you know how I could get a chance to do that. And if I did know something about them, that would be good for both of us. Listen, what I need is some help. Let's be straight. You recently tracked down a pair of cleric weapons, didn't you? Is that an accusation? This is a small town with lots of big mouths. There aren't really that many secrets. So, have you given those weapons over to the pit? Or do you still have them? I know some people who would be happy to pay for them. The Berserkers don't want them. The clerics do. Are you some sort of traitor? Me? No, no, I'm no traitor. I just know some interested parties who would like to get hold of those weapons. I'm sure they would be grateful for your help. You'd be making some useful friends. Friends? You mean you're a cleric, or you know someone who is. That sort of accusation can get someone killed, so don't go shouting that at me. I'm no use to you dead. Besides, you can do with a friend, and the shards they bring. What will you pay me for them? Of course, of course. I can offer you Alexit if you give them to me. That would only be fair. And should you wish to learn more about technology, I could point you to where answers can be found. I'll sell the weapons to you. Sell? No, think of this as a finder's fee. I'll make sure these get back to the right place. All right, so this guy, Bertram, he's actually a cleric spy. So yeah, he's, uh, like if you're doing the Berserker missions, you can turn him in uh, for being a cleric, and then you can kind of guess what happens to him. Um, I believe you actually have to fight him, uh, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, we're gonna help him out because we are trying to trying to be a cleric. So we're gonna help the spy out, give him those weapons. Uh, we could have also gave the weapons to the berserkers, and they would have um, they would have destroyed them. Oh no! Yep. So that would be um, one way to get a little bit of experience, though. Uh, so what we want to go ahead and do is let's put some points into the dexterity. Uh, get it up to 32. I think that'd be wise. I think that's what we needed for something. Yeah, that's why. I'm, yeah, that's why I figured it might be good to do. And then we'll put the cunning up as well. Unfortunately, couldn't put any points into strength this time around. Uh, we'll just have to invest a bunch next next time. Uh, so what did that unlock? Let me just see if there's any new weapons we can use. Can we use the two-handed sword? Thrower. Oh shit! We've got the two-handed sword, Jinx. That puts up our damage by five. Nice, let's go ahead and equip that. Um, and we can sell this ax later on. Uh, yeah, let me just take a look and see if there's any other weapons we can use now. Uh, we could all, already use the crossbow. We're quite a ways off from being able to use these weapons, unfortunately. All right, we can use the flamethrower though, Jinx. Oh, shit. All right, let's put this into that slot right there. And we can't pull it out here or they'll get pissed off, probably. <laughs> but look at this big-ass ba oh, wow. big bad sword. Look at this. Look at that. An odd color. It is. <laughs> it's a bit of an odd color. Um, and then, is this... I don't know if this guy's a crafting... I don't really remember. He looks like a crafty fella. Uh, he's the guy who runs this... Uh, this rock here? Yeah, the rock. <laughs> <laughs> he runs this here, so he's like they're one of their oh, kind of... the pit master. Magic dudes, yeah. Uh, that's actually not the pit. Oh. That's not? just... I don't think so. I think that's just hot water. I oh, think that's I their bath. acid. No, they're, the uh, pit is actually a, a big-ass fucking pit um, on the side here. Which, that's it? It's just a hole in the ground? No acid? No, nope. It's just a, a big pile full of old stuff. Well, shit. Let's go loot that We We are, place. Jinx. That's where we're going to go there. Yeah, there's a bunch of good stuff there. I think there's some enemies there, too, though. That oh, they'll fight. Because everyone wants good shit. It's right. just tossed into a hole. I think we probably have enough troll leaf, by the way. 
Um, blowing boogers all over the goddamn place. Yeah, they're always doing that. But it seems very Vikingish. That's what Vikings yeah, I mean, do. I guess. So this guy's a trainer. That's offensive to Vikings, by the uh, way. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not being. I'm not embracing diversity here. Um, so I believe that um, this guy's a survival trainer or a combat trainer, and then. This guy in here? No, he's not one. Let me take. Let's what take a look at the. Blower? Let's talk to, to armor smith guy. And he doesn't. He's just an armor. He's like you're stepping on my buggers. <laughs> How dare you! Okay. All right, we can see what what uh, armor he has, I guess. But yeah, he's not a trainer. We might have to look it up online. It's really easy to see that. Yeah, there's like a a list of all the trainers and stuff. Um, but we might have to do that uh, because. Ooh, I want a horned sword. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. It's really not that far away from, from us on strength and dexterity either. We'll wait, though. I'm not going to buy anything that I can't use immediately, though, because I could end up finding something better blade. by that point. Yeah, the slaughter blade. I don't like find anything like that. Huh? You just find, like, swords, axes, nothing with cool names. What about this warrior sword, Jinx? Why don't we buy this? I mean, I guess. We're not that far away from being able to use it. I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx really doesn't want it. I say we should, we should buy it. It's 1200 We're getting it. That's expensive. It's fine, Jinx. We got the money. Uh, is there any... Hmm, we got the hunter helmet. Uh, do we want to wear the hunter helmet? What are we wearing right now? Oh, we're wearing a... Something goofy. No, we're not. We're in a hood. We got a hood on, Jinx. Um, Hoods are so last season. <laughs> hunter armor's not better. No, this stuff is better. All right. Uh, do you have anything else I might want to get here? The ring of defense. Okay. Let's go ahead and sell um, that weapon that we have that we're not using anymore. Yeah, the axe. axe. Yep. All right. Awesome. We'll complete the training. All right. So he's not the trainer. I don't. I don't remember who the fuck. I thought I remembered who the crafting trainer was, but apparently I don't. Um, let's let's talk to this guy because I, I think he's survival or combat. We'll see if we can put anything up. I'm guessing combat. Um. I'm here escaping the Alps. Uh, we're not going to listen to this guy. We're not doing their quest anyway. Uh, I'm going to do any more stuff for them. Um, teach me something. That's all I'm here for. All right, so yeah, he's a survival guy. Um, I just don't want to put points into these resistances. Yeah. They just don't seem like don't something... Really run into that kind yeah, of stuff. It just doesn't seem like it's going to be that useful. I mean... I mean, I guess if you want to go into those places... Yeah, I mean, the radiation resistance, maybe, but it just, is that worth a skill point? Probably not. Not when I want to get all those crafting things. Um, God, I don't. I don't know who the crafting guy is. Maybe it's um, the guy up there on the top of the hill. We'll go take a look and talk to him. If not, I'm gonna have to look it up, guys, because uh, that's the only only way I know. I don't. I don't know if this guy is. I'm supposed to be talk to him. I don't want to listen to all these people, guys. So we're just gonna skip through them. Um, don't try selling religion. Yeah, don't, don't sell me religion. Religion. That is for the <laughs> <laughs> one day. Oh, I guess, I guess uh, what the clerics have is a religion. True. Um. All right. So yeah, we'll go ahead and tell them the truth. We're being honest in this playthrough, guys. Now you. Although I don't really care what that. The reason why we're not listening to him is because guys, these guys are so talkative. Uh, we would be here for the rest of the episode talking to this guy. Um, yeah, we have so many questions. I don't think for he's. Him, I don't think he's a trainer. All right, what so do let's... you do with mana? I need to know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we're just looking for the the, the uh, trainers here, guys. Uh, also, I believe we can give Ragnar return Ragnar's quest. Um, we can punch Ragnar in the fucking face. What? <laughs> <laughs> sure, Jinx. We can we can punch him in the do face. It. Uh, I believe he he sent us on the mission to go to those multiple cities, which we've already done. Uh, so Cormac. This guy's interesting because Corn Mag. Um, like, I don't know what that means. This guy's interesting because he's a berserker who doesn't really believe and so much, and he thinks the laws can kind of be bent a little bit. He looks sure. stoned. <laughs> okay, he's a combat trainer. Uh, ooh, nice. We can put up ranged weapons. All right, that's awesome. We'll do that. Um, heavy weapons as well. That would be for the flamethrower. I kind of feel like we should do that. We also have grenades. We're doing more. We need jetpack attack. Do you think we should do the heavy weapons? No. Like the flamethrower and stuff? We're not there yet. We have we can use the flamethrower though. I mean I guess. It'll Are let you us do use more it often? You said it was lame. I've never used it before. Oh. I haven't used the flamethrower. You said it was lame, Jinx. You said you thought it was gonna be lame. No. <laughs> <laughs> um I guess we could before we put points into it, we'll make sure that it looks cool and it, it does damage. Uh before we you know, 
spend one of our skill points on it. Yeah, I don't know where the fucking crafter guy is. We're gonna have to look He's it up. He's gone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, we can go ahead and turn in this mission to, if I can run straight, uh, we'll turn in this mission to Ragnar and get some experience from him. I brought you a report from another city. I brought you a report from another city. Yes? Which city did you go to? I went to the fort. Good. Then tell me your report on the outlaws. The fort is well prepared for defense. They're not lacking weapons, and they seem determined to keep what they have. And their state of mind? I'd hoped the outlaw problem would solve itself by them tearing themselves apart. They have similar numbers of people to you. It's true that they don't all agree, but their leader, the Duke, seems to have the outlaws under control. Then I will need to think again about Tavar. I was hoping that they'd implode, leaving us with one less threat. But it seems we may not be so fortunate. Tavar is always safer when it's fighting itself. It leaves them less energy for fighting us. Thank you for your report. I visited the Horde in Ignodon. The Horde? Stronghold of our old enemy. So, tell me about their strength. They're prepared, well-disciplined, and they're developing new weaponry. But they are short on manpower. I had heard they were recruiting. How are their forces distributed? Their attention is focused largely on the Alps, but they haven't forgotten the other factions. I think their main concern is being attacked if they decide to take on the Alps. At least they seem to have recognized who their real enemy is. Thank you for your report. I know it seems like we're betraying our future faction, guys. Seems a bit snitchy. But we're really not. Um, because I would, my goal, I don't know if it's possible in this game, I haven't got far enough. My goal is to create an alliance between the Berserkers and the Clerics. Uh, I would really like to see that happen uh, so that um, we can all focus on the Alps. I think that would probably be wise. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm gonna have to look up where the crafting trainer is um, because yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, and I really, really want to get those. Stomping all over those people. Yeah, just harvest. stomping all over their fucking garden. Like fuck y'all, God. Fuck and fuck y'all, harvest. And Falk's even worse. Yep, he's even worse about it. A couple of dicks. Yeah, well, you'd expect Falk to be worse about it. He doesn't care about farming. <laughs> uh, he only cares about. So I, I take vitamins for breakfast. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up the mutant's leaf here. Uh, but yeah, we'll look it up. We'll find out where the crafting one is, so that hopefully next episode we'll be able to like start making potions and modifying our weapons and all that kind of good stuff, uh, making ourselves more powerful. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that's all we have to say about that, guys. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, I don't, I don't know what we'll do. We're going to the pit. Yeah, next episode we're gonna go to the pit. Um, that's actually where our other companion is, Jinx. <gasps> Somebody yep. threw him in the pit. Yep. Or is he a scavenger? No. Um, well, I'll save it for next episode. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, but yeah, next episode we'll be going to the pit. I believe it's somewhere down on that side or something like that. I don't really recall. It's somewhere next to the place though. Uh, maybe that side over there. <laughs> I don't know. Away. We'll figure it out, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, though. If you did, then please leave a like, leave a comment. Love talking to you guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Check out um, our Patreon and our uh, Discord server. You know, all that good stuff. Uh, support the channel and talk to us, um, you know, outside of YouTube. Uh, and, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.